I traveled over an hour to go to a gas station, but not just any gas station. We're at Bucky's. Now, Bucky's is the largest gas station in the world. They have everything you could think of from themed merch, food, ton of gas pumps, the cleanest restrooms. They've really got it all. Let's head inside and check it out. As soon as I walk in, Bucky is literally everywhere. Look, they've got tubes, they've got cabanas with Bucky the beaver on them. They literally have everything. Pool noodles, chairs, look at this chair. I mean, this store is incredible. And upon walking in even further, oh my gosh, this place is massive. This place is an absolute madhouse right now. It is crazy in here. I'm sure you can hear from the sounds just around me. And you guys know me. We're here to check out the food. I'm gonna try a bunch of different things and review them all for you. I've been seeing so many things about this place on TikTok and on other social media. So I'm super excited to get my hands on some of the food here. I'd say the foods that they are most known here for are gonna be their pulled pork sandwiches and their chopped brisket sandwiches. So of course we will be sampling them as well as a bunch of other things because there is truly so much to eat from here. But before I make my selections on what I'm gonna try, I kinda just wanna walk around and look at everything so I can make my decisions. So let's go to walk around Bucky's and I'll kinda show you guys what they have to offer. First up, right over here, they are making those fresh brisket sandwiches as we speak. And they have a ton lined up here. It looks like they have a club melt, a fried chicken sandwich, an apple pie, and then here's those sliced brisket sandwiches. I'll definitely be walking away with one of them, as well as some beaver chips. I have heard a lot about those as well. And in case that wasn't enough brisket, there's even more. Over here, we've also got sausage on a stick. That kind of looks good, I don't know. Sounds good. Ooh, some barbecue sliced turkey sandwich. That sounds delicious. And then over here, right across from the brisket, we've got the pulled pork sandwiches. Look, they are just fresh chopping that beef right over there. We literally have not even scratched the surface of what they have to offer. And I am already so overwhelmed. There are so many good options. I don't know how I'm gonna decide what I'm getting. After looking at all those beets, I was distracted by a sweet smell of some nuts. They should be mixing nuts like that. <laughs> they are fresh roasting these nuts and coating them in cinnamon and sugar. There are a ton of options. It looks like we've got cinnamon glazed pecans, cashews, and almonds. Ooh, they smell so good. Oh my gosh, and right next to the nuts, cookie dough station? Are you kidding? What do we got in here? Oh my god, party time? It looks like we have like a sugar cookie birthday cake flavor and then regular chocolate chip as well. I I'd have to say one of them is coming home with me. Another thing that I've heard a lot about online is their fudge. I've seen a lot of good reviews of their key lime pie fudge. Totally getting it. And I think I see the fudge right over here. So let's go check that out next. But look at all of these options. Blueberry cheesecake, chewy praline, red velvet. Oh my God, banana pudding. That might be coming home with me as well. And then we've got the key lime pie right over here. It, it looks so good. And they are literally just making this all fresh right back there. Packaging it and serving it right up right next door. It's so cool. Now we just took a look at a lot of sweets. So let's head over to the burrito and taco and jerky area so I can show you that next. Bucky's is very well known for their jerky and they sure do have a lot of options. Literally every single flavor that you could possibly think of, they have hot and spicy, peppered turkey, Korean, bohemian garlic, lemon pepper, Oh my gosh, that is so much jerky. If you didn't want to wait in the line at the jerky counter, they also have a jerky wall prepackaged so you can just come over here, scoop it up for yourself. And I must admit, I've never had beef jerky. It kind of like grossed me out. I don't know, I don't know. I just never had it. And something I learned on social media is that you can actually get a sample of any of the flavors that they have of the jerky at the counter over there. So I went over there, I got a sample of the Korean barbecue jerky, and I'm gonna try it. My first bite of jerky with you guys. See how it is. Excuse me. 
It's actually really good. The flavor is delicious. It's kind of sweet, which I like. I'm not sure if I could do much more of this, but it's good to try. Now, something that I know I'll like are burritos and tacos. So I came over here. We have a mix of a bunch of different things. Texas cheesesteak burrito. I might have to get that. A chicken fajita taco, a chicken burrito, a beef burrito, and a veggie burrito. This cheesesteak one definitely sounds delicious. Oh my gosh, and right next to those burritos, they have a full bakery. Look at all these delicious looking treats. This lemon bar looks so, so good. And they also have some really yummy looking cinnamon rolls. Look at them down there. Oh my gosh, and we're gonna get to try some of the cookies. What cookies are these? The lemon crisp, oh my gosh. I love lemon cookies. I bet I'm gonna love these. That was so cool. They literally just have a woman walking around pushing a cart of samples and they were lemon cookies, which is right up my alley. Mm. Those are coming home with me. They taste like a butter cookie with a hint of lemon. Definitely gonna have to get them. They also have so many different drink options and something that's really cool is that a lot of their drinks are kind of special to Bucky's. So if you take a look over here, they have Bucky's Original Cola, Black Cherry, Lemonade, Cherry Lime Soda. This one sounds so good and look at that. They even has, have an ice cold sarsaparilla. Before we get into all the pre-packaged Bucky snacks, there's still a couple more things I want to show you guys. Over in the center here, they have just like a bunch of parfaits. They have banana pudding here. And then just like some snack trays, some protein, some cheese, some salads, fresh fruit, pre-made sandwiches over here and wraps. And look at this too. They also have key lime pie in a cup. That sounds really good. Along with all of those sandwiches and fruits and stuff, they also have like pre-made charcuterie boards. How cool is that? Like this would be perfect if you're just driving on the road, a long, long ride, grabbing a little charcuterie board for yourself. What is happening? <laughs> it is it is madness in here. But I think it's time to show you guys like the pre-packaged chips and candies and snacks of that nature now. We'll start off with some surely strange things to find at a gas station. Some pickled veggies and pickled quail eggs. I mean, what gas station do you know that you can just get a jar of pickled quail eggs casually? Got some pickled okra, okra, some candy, I said okra. <laughs> <laughs> Candied jalapenos, pickled garlic, you know, just in case you need on your car ride, some pickled garlic. We've got salsas, every flavor of hot sauce that you can ever imagine. Some seasonings and barbecue sauces. And then when it comes to chips, I saw these first, and this is something that I actually saw online. Garlic Parmesan pretzel sticks for $2.98, I think. I'll have to get a bag of these. They also have them in a churro cinnamon sugar flavor. That sounds really good as well, but I'm more of a salty person, so those garlic parm ones will be coming home with me. And then you see they have kettle corn, different types of popcorn, caramel corn, oh my gosh. And now we've just got like walls and walls of candy. This is just, look at these wax, I haven't seen one of these in forever, these wax bottles. This is insane. I know I've probably said insane like a hundred times already. This is only my second time in a Bucky's and my first time like really eating at a Bucky's. The last time I was here was a couple years ago and I, I had just eaten before we came so I didn't really get anything but now this is the real test of Bucky's. Oh my gosh, no way. Bucky himself right next to the wall of gummies. Another super popular thing that they have at Bucky's are gonna be these beaver nuggets. From my fresh brisket on the board, I hear, <laughs> but I hear these are kind of just like a, a a little sweet, sweet puffed little thing. I don't really know, but it's gonna be my first time. We'll grab them and try them out for you. I just came over here to show you these ordering screens that they have, and they also have Bucky's branded cinnamon roll candles. <laughs> I, I just can't believe this. I, I gotta smell it. Smells like a cinnamon roll. And now here are some of the options on the um, little screen here. You can get a Texas BLT, a turkey melt. Ooh, build your own hot dog. Look at all those options to put on your glizzy. 
chicken tenders. There's there's so much. But now that we've went through all that food, I think it's time to make our selections. I got myself a little a little basket to walk around with, and I'm gonna grab a bunch of things, and I'll see you guys when it's time for the reviews. This is for four people. I went ham at the bussies. Absolutely feral inside there. And I can't wait to show you guys what I got. All right, we're gonna start with our haul. We got two big bags worth of food. And I think we'll start with the hot stuff. That's the most exciting. We got the pulled pork sandwich. Gotta do that when you come to Boosie's. We also got the barbecue turkey sandwich. I've never really seen anything about this, but I saw it, it caught my eye and it looks delicious. Also, they don't have picnic tables or anywhere to eat. So we're kind of just like on, this, on the side of the sidewalk here. Um, we've, we've also got the sliced brisket sandwich. This is one of the things that they are best known for. So can't wait to try that. And then I saw something about this hot apple pie. It looks so good. It's like fried apple pie coated in cinnamon sugar. So got that to try for us as well. Moving on to the not hot snacks. I got a bag of the garlic Parmesan pretzel sticks. We got the chili limon pork rinds to try. Some chocolate chip cookie dough bites. These look really good. You know, I saw that the charcuterie had to get it. So I tried the jalapeno sausage and cheese pretzel cup. Looks good. We also got two pieces of fudge. We got the blueberry cheesecake and the key lime pie. The classic OG beaver nuggets. And to round it all off, we got the chamoy peach rings. My sis popped open the chili limon pork rind. So I guess that's where we're starting. Give me a little, a little pork take rind a here. Give take a, I'll take, take a, a gander. Mm. Some good flavor on those. Really good flavor. I haven't had many pork rinds in my day, but I must say, these are the best I've had. They are so crunchy. I'm sure you guys heard that perfect hint of the lime with the chili, a little spice, a little, a little zest from that lime. Really good pork rind. She couldn't wait on the pork rinds, but I made her wait on the pulled pork sandwich. I'm gonna take a bite of this one first. It looks really good. It also looks like it's gonna be a huge mess, but let's do it. I'm not the biggest fan of pulled pork, but I really like the barbecue sauce that they use on it. It's very light on the barbecue, which I like. A little sweet. I would say, I wish the bun was like, not just a regular hamburger bun. I wish we had like a, a solid bun on this Sammy, but it's good. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go with the barbecue turkey sandwich. Out of the three, the brisket, the pork, and the turkey, this is the one I'm most excited to try. I, I don't know if I've ever had a barbecue turkey, barbecue turkey in general before, so it looks delicious. Let's dig in. That turkey is delicious with the barbecue sauce on there. Look at the side of the turkey. There's like a really nice char on it. Again, my only issue is this bun. I don't love the bun. It's a little too soft for like a barbecue sandwich in my opinion, but this turkey, better than the pork, honestly. And now we'll start on the third and final Sammy. I got the sliced brisket. They also had a chopped version, but I think I prefer the slice. So I tried this one. That brisket is actually really good. Isabel, I think you like the brisket best, right? Yeah. I have to agree. The brisket is definitely the best of the three now. I have a new fave. I'm a fan. Now we're gonna do the apple pie. This was found over by the pulled pork, the brisket, the turkey, all those sandwiches, and it's served hot. It literally, it looks like a tortilla, kind of just folded up with that apple pie filling in the middle and then fried and coated in cinnamon sugar. Let's try it out. That is delicious. The outside is like a flaky, perfectly fried, crispy shell with those sweet cinnamony apples on the inside and cinnamon sugar just puts it over the top. 
I lost an apple. It's on my foot right now, but it's delicious. Now, the cookie dough bites. If you guys remember, they had these in the sugar cookie birthday cake flavor, and then they have them in chocolate chip as well. I decided to go with the chocolate chip, so let's try them out. I keep stepping on the apple that I dropped, but this cookie dough is a lot softer than I expected. I guess it's regular cookie dough. I just expected it to be like maybe a little like frozen or something, but it's super soft. Let's give it a bite. I'm pretty sure this is still just sugar cookie dough. It's not like actual chocolate chip cookie dough with chocolate chips in it. It's very, very good. Very soft, sweet, but I wish it was more like of a chocolate chip dough. I don't know. Do you, does that make sense? Up next, we got the beaver nuggets. These are like a classic Bucky staple. If you watch any video about Bucky's, everyone's eating these beaver nuggets. So we had to try them. They have them in a bunch of different varieties as well, different flavors, but I just went with the OG. I can see how these would be addicting. There's just like a little puff, almost like caramelized on the outside, kind of like a caramel corn, but I taste a little bit of a maple flavor in there. I did not think I was gonna like these, but I'm, I'm kind of digging them. I have a feeling this is gonna be a great road trip snack on the way back to Orlando. Now, we're digging into these garlic Parmesan pretzel sticks. Another thing that on the way here, I was like looking up videos on TikTok of things people eat at Bucky's, and I saw these, didn't even know they existed. I'm happy I found them. Garlic parm. That's my favorite flavor. Upon initial review though, this bag is a little bit of a scam. It is maybe a quarter full. <laughs> they really scamming you out here on these pretzel sticks, but let's see if they're good. Oh yeah. They're so buttery and salty. And then you get that garlic and that Parmesan flavor in there. That's a really good pretzel stick. Those are, I actually think those are my favorite thing that I've tried so far. Those are delicious. I might have to go in and get another bag to take home with me. And now the chamoy rings. Now this is not a scam. This bag is stuffed to the brim. It's got classic peach rings. Coated in chamoy and I would assume tahini. I don't know. I've never had anything like this, but let's check them out. Really not sure if I'm a fan of things with like tahini and stuff on them. Tried them in that fruit in Galaxy's Edge and didn't really like it, but we'll try it on a peach ring. That's different. Oh my God. I had really low expectations on that. I do love peach rings. These are good. I didn't, I, I didn't expect to like this at all pleasantly surprised. I came in the car because it's kind of warm, but I must admit it's very inconvenient that Boosie's does not have any picnic tables outside. <laughs> We're all squished in here. Yeah, we could use a BYOT. chair. BYOT, bring your own table. We also got some bevies. I got a raspberry iced tea and lemonade mixed and tastes like you would expect. I got a Boochie's diet cola because the, the diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Was... Pepper? Something was off in there. <laughs> Something was off about that machine. I tried a different one too. Same Lucy's thing. step up your diet Dr. Pepper game. <laughs> I had to come in the car. It was it was too much going in and out of the car. We're eating our last treat in the car and that is the key lime pie fudge. Looks like we got like a layer of graham cracker on the bottom there and then the key lime pie and maybe some more graham cracker on top. Let's try it. That is really good. And you get all those flavors combined. Really tastes like a key lime pie. I don't know how they do it here at Boosie's, but it's boosting. Julie also got some cantaloupe. Give us your Boosie's cantaloupe review. I have to keep it cute and gorgeous and stay skinny. Honestly, delectable. That's a, $5 for a little thing of cantaloupe. I know, I was like, I, we, we got so much like unhealthy food and stuff, I was like, this will make up for it, right? Like this, this will cancel it all out. Finish the meal with the fruit, nothing happened. Mm. If food from Boosie's is really good, is it Boosin or is it Bussin? It's Boosin. Ryan, what was the most Boosin thing that you tried at Boosie's? Um, the apple pie by far 
is probably the cheapest on that whole like little loop around that they have of all the like hot mm-hmm. fresh stuff and it's the best i think and you also tried the chicken fajita chicken fajita was not the best <laughs> it, it was, was so bad it was like not good it was the whitest thing i've ever eaten isabel you too it was so white. What was the most boosin thing you tried at Boosie's? The apple pie, but we also haven't had the beaver oh, tail yet. I'm holding out for the beaver I, tail. I didn't even see this beaver tail. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a flat cinnamon roll. It's it was in the pastry around. cake. <laughs> a little, little wrap around. around that thing. It looks really good. I'll have to try a bite of that. Yeah. So Isabel great. passed a piece of the beaver tail back. They said it's just okay. So, mm-hmm. we'll see. Yeah, Ryan said it tasted like it was sitting out for a mm-hmm. little, and I, I agree. It's if it was fresh, I think it'd be really good. It tastes like a cinnamon roll, but in croissant form. So, like, a very flaky dough for a cinnamon roll. Because <laughs> it's like a croissant, but could be a little fresher for sure. <laughs> we are finishing up here at Boosie's. I'm finishing up my brisket sandwich. This was one of the favorite things that I had. Figured I'd take the rest of the snacks home. But I want to go over my favorites of the day. I really loved those garlic, Parmesan garlic pretzel sticks. I thought they were fantastic. Also really enjoyed that key lime pie fudge. The pork rinds were really good. And of course, when it comes to the sandwiches, the brisket was the winner for me. Oh my God, I almost forgot the apple pie was really good as well. Those were all the winners. I had so much food, I can't even remember what I got. Um, But it's all coming home. It was all shared and we're gonna have a lot of leftovers. Julie, what was your favorite? The cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me like really off guard. Um, you didn't even get touch up. Um, my fa- I made it look worse. My favorite was probably the the turkey sandwich was okay, good, and the can the cantaloupe was refreshing at the end of my meal. <laughs> I the peach rings. I really like the, the peach, rings. peach rings. Those were good. And um. Uh, apple pie. Definitely. You should eat from that fork now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna finish the rest of my brisket sandwich, and um, I think that's gonna be it. I wanna enjoy the rest of my meal in peace, guys, okay? Leave me alone. But before we head back to Orlando, I came out of the car, I emerged, gobbled down some more food, and emerged back outside of the Boosies. Thank you so much to my patrons, Jeremy, Barbara, Lisa, Paul, Misty, Abdullah, Ashley, and Lindsay. Thank you so much for subscribing. If anyone else would like to join my Patreon, I'll put the link in the description below. And with that, we're heading out. Back to Orlando we go. My first non-Disney video. (laughs) But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys will be able to stop at Boosie's maybe on your trip down to Disney World. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.